integrate x cubed times the square root of x squared minus 1 solution. So I've never done this problem before, but the natural thing to try first is to let u be equal to x squared minus 1. So let's try that. So u is equal to x squared minus 1. So now uh, if we compute du, we get du equals 2x dx. So the part under the square root is totally taken care of. The only issue here is the x cubed and the dx. Now you'll notice here that we have an x uh, and a 2, but there's no 2 anywhere in the integrand. So maybe we'll divide everything by 2. That's another good thing to try. So doing that, we end up with 1 half du equals x dx. So we have x dx. It would be really, really nice if we had x cubed dx. So in order to accomplish that, we can multiply both sides by x cubed. So this becomes, let me come up here and do it so you see it more clearly. This is 1 half x squared du, right, multiplying this by x squared. Also the right-hand side, that will give us x cubed dx. So now we have x cubed dx. The only issue is we have an x squared over here. However, here we have an equation that relates u and x squared. So solving this for x squared, that's going to give us, adding 1 gives us u plus 1. Oh, good stuff. So this is 1 half u plus 1, right? That's x squared du equals x cubed dx. Beautiful stuff. Let's recap what we just did. So we saw this problem, right? I had not done it before until this very moment. Um, we call this piece u. That's the natural thing to do. You compute your du. You notice there's no 2, so you divide. So you get here. And this is where you're kind of stuck, right? You see the x cubed and the dx. You say, hey, uh, we need an x cubed. So you put an x squared here. You put an x squared here. That way the right-hand side becomes x cubed. Boom, there it is. But you're still stuck because now you have an x squared here. However, we can solve this equation for x squared by adding 1 to both sides, plug it in, and here we go. So let's go ahead and make the substitution. I'm going to rewrite our integral again so I don't mess up. So the original problem was x cubed square root x squared minus 1 dx. It's really fun when you figure these out um, for the first time. It feels really good. Um, x cubed dx x cubed dx. So I guess I'll pull out the 1 half, then we'll have the integral, and then parentheses u plus 1, and then this is uh, u. So it's u to the 1 half du, right? So why is, the, why is that a 1 half? Um, it's the square root of u, right? And we have to integrate, so I figured let's write it to the 1 half so we can distribute and use the power rule. Okay, so let's do that. So this is equal to 1 half Let's distribute the u. There's a 1 here, so when you multiply these, you add the exponents. It's 1 plus 1 half, so it's 2 halves plus 1 half, so it's 3 halves. Plus, and then this is going to be just u to the 1 half, and then du. All right, let's keep going. So we just use the power rule now, right? No, no problems there. So this is 1 half. You add 1 to this, so um, 3 halves plus 1 is 3 halves plus 2 halves, so it's 5 halves. So it's u to the 5 halves, and then we divide by 5 halves. That's the same thing as multiplying by 2 fifths. Plus this 1 half, I'll go ahead and distribute it. So 1 half, and then u to the um, 3 halves, right? Because it's 2 halves, it's 1 half, plus 2 halves. Yeah, just making sure. So 3 halves, yep. Then when you divide by 3 halves, you really multiply by the reciprocals, so 2 thirds, and then plus c. Oh, this is cool. The 2's cancel everywhere. That's nice. This is equal to 1 fifth, and I already forgot what u was. I believe it was x squared minus 1. Yep, so u is x squared minus 1. So x squared minus 1 to the 5 halves, plus uh, then this is 1 third, and then x squared minus 1 to the 3 halves. And then we have our, our plus c. That's our plus c. So kind of an interesting problem. Um, I hope it's been helpful, and I hope it's helped uh, someone out there who's working on integration. That's it.